Good morning, everyone. It's Allie B, co-founder of The Bod Garage. I am so glad that you joined me today. Today is ab day, so we're going to kill it. Are you ready? I can't hear you. Come on. I can't hear you. Are you ready? All right, let's do this thing. I'm going to bring my camera down just a little bit. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get down on the floor. All right. And we're going to lay down on our backs just like this. All right. And we are going to do some exercises to kind of warm up just a little bit. We're going to kind of keep it a little low key. Um, so we're going to lay our head clear down on the ground. Okay. Just like this. And we're just going to lift those legs up about halfway and down. We aren't lifting them up high. Just about halfway and down, all right? So we're gonna start there and then we're gonna lift them up high in just a minute. So put your hands to your side, legs straight, and here we go, ready? Up, down, up, down. Okay, keep going, just like that. Don't let your heels touch the ground, up, down. How are you doing? All right, keep going. Let's just keep going as long as you can. Now, if you're feeling it in your lower back, let's go ahead and put our feet on the ground. Feel it in your lower back. Go ahead and put your hands under your bootay. All right? <laughs> let's do it that way. If you want to, go ahead and bring your knees up to your chest and kind of stretch out that lower back, okay? Because you do feel it a little bit in there, and uh, we want to keep that back to where it's not hurting. All right? So this time, we're going to do it again, the same thing. Uh, just straight up and down, okay? Hands under your bootay and up, down. Now that helps your back just feel a little bit better, okay? So let's do it just like that. You can keep your head on the ground, okay? Keep warming that those abs up. You can feel them move already. Mine are still hurting from our last ab session. All right, and let your legs down. Good job. All right, so we're going to do a few exercises we haven't done for a while today. The first one we're going to do is we're going to bring our right knee up to our left elbow, just like this, and we're going to crunch those abs down in, okay? So you don't, here's the thing I don't want you to do. I don't want you to yank that neck and, and, that, and hurt your neck, okay? So I want you to kind of put your hand over on your shoulder, more on your shoulder than on your neck, Barely touch it and keep it there and then we're gonna go straight back to the ground this knee is bent your right knee is bent your left elbow is bent on your shoulder and bring it up just like that touch and back down okay all the way to the ground and touch them back down here we go are you ready let's do this thing crunch down crunch down now, every time keep going every time you do this you need to fill those abs, all right? Maybe you cannot quite get your knee to your elbow. I want you to go as far as you can go, okay? Keep going. Okay. Woo! Keep going. Can you feel it? I can feel it. Go all the way back down to the ground and up. Two more. One and two. Good job. Let those abs just rest for just a minute. We're going to do the other side. So bend that left knee. Okay. Take your break just a second. And remember, you're going to put your hand over on your shoulder. Okay. And each time, you're going to come and lay completely back down on the ground. Okay. And raise up from that point. All right. And here we go. One, down, two, down, three, down, four, down, five, down. Try to keep that other leg on the ground or really, really close, okay? Keep going. And bring those abs up. Scrunch those abs and crunch them. Crunch them. That's what you're doing. Crunch on those abs. Okay, focus on those. You need to feel it there. You can make your body use those abs more than your leg and your arm, okay? Two more. One and two. Good job. Whoo, my abs are hurting. 
hurting already and we just started. Let those abs just relax. You can stretch them out. Stretch them out. They need it right now. That's for sure. We're going to have the best abs. We're going to have the best abs. We'll be showing them off all the time, won't we? <laughs> Wrong core. It's going to be good for our back, too. All right, so we're going to do another set of those, okay? So, right knee up. Right, left elbow on your shoulder. And here we go. And each time, I want you to scrunch those, crunch those tummy muscles in, okay? And uh, every single time, come clear back down to the floor, head all the way to the floor, and foot all the way on the floor as well. Try to keep your left leg that's straight. Try to keep it on the ground. It will move, but that's okay. All right, here we go. Are you ready? Three, all the way down to the floor. Four, five, keep going, come on. Six, seven, eight, fight for it, come on. Nine, scrunch those tummy muscles. 10, 11, and one more. 12, good job, you hear me? <laughs> All right, get that left knee up, right leg down, hand on that shoulder blade, on that shoulder, top of that shoulder, and let's crunch those abs every single time, and here we go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Good job. Stretch those abs out. All right, so are you guys up to a gallon of water? This is our week to be up to a gallon of water. All right, I'm still working on mine. Got a long way to go today. <laughs> a gallon, you know, I love my jug. It has the times on it. My daughter Crystal got it for me for Christmas, and uh, it's been such a, a really good thing for me to look at the time and go, oh my gosh, I'm behind on my time. I got to catch up on my water. It's been good. Ooh, I'm yawning. Ooh, excuse me. All right, we're going to do one more set of these. Are you ready? So you get that left elbow bent and your hand on that left shoulder. That right knee up. And here we go. One, two, three, four. Crunch those tummy muscles in. Five. Use them. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, one more, and twelve. All right, good job. Let your tummy rest. Stretch it out. All right, right. Elbow bent and hand on your shoulder. Left knee bent and here we go. One, crunch those tummy muscles. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, and down. Good job. Good job, guys. Stretch those tummy muscles out. I want you to get up, get you a drink of water, and sit right back down. We're going to stay on the floor for just a little bit, okay? So get you some water and get you a drink. It's a great workout. We're doing a good job. We're killing it. Hey, you guys, I have to brag on one of my clients, and hopefully she'll be watching. She's working out with me five days a week, so I got to brag on her. So in Texas, uh, you know who you are, woman. I'm bragging on you. I'm not going to use your name, all right? In Texas, they had a big ice storm, 
and their electric went out on Saturday. Okay, and so clear to Wednesday, they were without electric. Can you imagine that? But I want to tell you what she did. She kept on track with her diet and workout with no electric for all those days from Saturday to Wednesday. She kept up with her workout. It blows my mind. She kept up with her food and tracking her food. And I'm going to tell you what, I was so proud of her. So I'm going to say your first name, Virginia. Woman, I am so proud of you. I really am. That's, that's a, such a great thing. She's determined. She is winning at losing this weight and getting in shape. And it's because of her attitude. She She's not letting anything stop her. And you can't let anything stop you either, all right? So let's get your diet under control and, and let's get it right for you so you can see great results. You know what I love about being a coach? I love that you guys don't have to struggle and learn by trial and error. You know, I wish I would have had somebody to teach me what to do. As far as my diet goes, it was trial and error and all kinds of studying took me years to figure out. And you know what? I love that I help women and men go fast. They don't have to have all the trial and error I had. It's a great, great thing. So, you know what? I'm going to tell you what. Clients like that just make me happy. <laughs> I got some good clients. All right, let's lay back down on the floor. Okay, now. This one can be more advanced by holding your head and shoulders up. All right, and we are going to do this. Bring those knees up to that tummy and back down, but our feet are not going to touch the ground ever during this exercise until we end, okay? We're gonna come close, but we are not touching the ground. Now, if this is hard for you to hold your head and shoulders up off the ground with your tummy, because you can feel it on the top real tight, your tummy gets real tight, then lay your head on the ground. You're still getting a good workout, okay? But I want you to push yourself, whatever it is. And maybe you'll start out with head and shoulders up and then have to go to the ground. I don't care, but I want you to push yourself and do more than you think you can do because you are what? You are stronger than you think. Don't forget it. You are stronger than you think. All right, feet on the ground, hands beside you. We're bringing your knees up to your chest as far as we can using those ab muscles. Okay, here we go. And remember, back out and you don't touch the ground. All right, here we go. One. Two. We're doing them slow. Three. Four. Five. Come on, keep going. Six. Seven, keep those muscles in that tummy tight. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, one more, twelve, and down. Good job. Stretch those tummy muscles out. Whew, you can stretch them just laying here, can't you? Pull on them, stretch them out. Now remember, guys, when you get sore, the best thing for you to do is stretch, okay? But you don't want to stretch uh, and pull yourself. Like you want to let your muscles relax into a stretch. Let them relax and use gravity to kind of pull them out. Or if you pull across your arms or something like that, you got to do it slowly. Don't yank, okay? <laughs> be really careful not to hurt yourself. All right, here we go. We're going to do the same thing again, knees to our chest. Okay, you can hold your head up if you want to. I'm going to. And my chest up off the ground a little bit. Here we go. Up. One. Remember, don't touch the floor. Two. Three. Come close, but don't touch it. Four. Five. Six. Keep going. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, eleven, and one more. Twelve. Good job. Very, very good job. If you are showing up here every day, I want you to be proud of yourself. You know what? You need to tell somebody that you're doing this. You need to be proud of yourself. You need to brag on yourself a little bit. And here's what I want you to do. I really do want you to be proud of yourself, and I'm telling you this for a reason. A lot of times we dull our own shine. Isn't that crazy how we do? 
We don't brag on ourselves and say, oh my gosh, look what I'm doing, when we should be proud. We should be proud. We should tell somebody what we're doing. But you know what? You're going to have to be careful sometimes who you tell because some people will just want to rain on your day. <laughs> oh, you don't need to work out. You look just fine the way you are and, and you're not happy with you. And you know what? That's okay because it's not about what somebody else thinks. It's about what you think and about your health. You do what you want to do. You get in shape for you. Don't care what they say. This is for you. You're grown. You're grown. You can do what you want. Be your best you. All right? Strive for your best you. It's worth it. To feel good about yourself. To feel confident. Let's go back down. Here we go. One more of these. And if you want to, head and chest up off the ground. Back. And then feet in the air. Here we go. One, don't touch the ground. Two, three, four, five, six. Keep going. Come on. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and one more. Twelve, and down. Good job. Lay there and, and let those muscles just stretch out. As you relax, you can even pull up your chest and pull them out. Make them stretch out. Okay? Good job. All right, we're going to stand up on our feet for this next one. Okay? You guys know where I went skating. My knee is still bruised and hurting, so I gotta be careful with that left knee and that crazy. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're going to do a crunch, okay? So we are working these muscles right here, okay? You guys can see that right there. That is called your oblique. There's a, once you start leaning out, that means you start losing some fat, you start seeing those show up more. So the more lean you get, the less fat you have on your tummy, the more of those obliques and those ab muscles you can see okay so we're going to work those just a little bit so we're going to kind of go to the side we want to crunch to the side like this okay and we need to feel it right here on the side we aren't going to crunch to the front we're going to crunch to the side so we're going to bend over this way come back and leg up to the side back just like that now you might need a stool or something there on your left or grab the sofa you know uh the arm of the sofa to do that and you can do that as well but just crunch it out all right are you ready here we go crunch one down crunch crunch those side obliques all right come on keep going four take your time feel that muscle feel it moving and crunching okay crunch it out all right you got this. Keep it going. When you come back down, you can go on your tiptoe. It kind of helps you. Remember your side to the side muscles. All right. Let's do two more. One and two. Okay. Now that exercise makes you want to have to balance yourself. So that's also good for a lot of muscles in your body. Okay. Let's do it the other side. So remember you're going to the side. Okay. Here we go. Are you ready? All right, here we go. And one. Remember, it's this muscle here. Two. Three. Four. Keep going now. Come on. Squeeze those muscles. You got to squeeze them. Okay? You got to feel them. Squeeze. And squeeze. And remember, to the side, not the front. Squeeze. Squeeze. Come on. Keep it going now. Keep going. Fight for it. You got this. Fight for it. Keep going. Two more. Here we go. One and two. Good job. Very, very good job. Proud of yourself this morning. You should be. <laughs> should be very, very proud of yourself. Take you a breather. Get you a drink of water. I forgot to bring my water in here this morning. So it's actually in on my desk. Uh, left it there. I needed to bring it in here for workout and I forgot it. So I'm going to have to wait a minute. And I'm thirsty. Guys, grab your water and get you a drink. 
we're going to keep going here. All right, we're going to do another set of those. This will be our last set of these, okay? They're a little bit hard because of balance issues, but that's okay. We're going to build up some of the strength to balance ourselves, all right? So here we go. Right arm or left arm, whichever one you started with in the beginning. Let's do it again. Remember, I want you to feel this crunch right here, right here in the side obliques, okay? Every time I want you to crunch that down. Let's go to the side, not to the front. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, crunch that side. Eight, make sure you're crunching it. Nine, one more. Ten, good job. Okay, ready for the other side? Here we go. Every time, crunch it, crunch it, crunch it. Feel it every single time. Think about that muscle, okay? Think about it moving and feel it move. Here we go. One, two, three, feel that muscle. Four, five, six, come on now, seven, eight, nine, and one more, ten. Great job. Grab yourself a drink of water. We're going to keep going, but I want you to grab a drink of water first. Okay, we're gonna get back on the floor. A lot of these ab exercises we do on the floor, right? So this one, we're gonna do the bicycle, all right? So we are going to come down on the floor with our back, and you can lay your head on the floor if you want to. I'm holding mine up because I want to work on my abs up here. At the, I'm a little bit more advanced. I've just been doing it a little while. Okay, so if it's easier for you uh, to lay, I don't want to say easy because I don't want you to pick easy ever. All right? uh, but if you're able to do these, uh, not able to do these with your head and your shoulders off the ground, that is fine. Keep your head and your shoulders on the floor if you need to. Now, if you can do them like this with your shoulders and your head off the ground, that's how I want you to do them. All right. So we're going to put our hands under our bootay. Okay, hold those head, shoulders off the ground if you can, and ride that bike. You want to ride it low, ride it low, 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 all right? <laughs> so bring those legs out, don't let them touch the ground, and we're low at first. Okay, make sure you're feeling this in your stomach. Okay, ride it low, now bring it high. Still feeling it in your stomach. Pull that stomach in towards the ground. Pull it in. Low. Ride that bike low. You got this. Come on. Keep that tummy tight. Pull it in. And high. You got this. Come on. <laughs> if you've taken your head to the floor like I did, that's fine. When you can, pull it back up, okay? Feet low. Woo, feel that tight on your tummy. Tight, 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 and high. Okay, keep it going. We're gonna do one more cycle of this. So keep going and low. Feel that. And high. Okay, and legs down to the ground. Relax that tummy. Good job. Good job. <laughs> We're going to do that again. Okay. Just relax for a second. You're working those abs really hard. Let them relax. Okay. Are you ready? You put your hands under your booty, it helps your lower back, okay? 
and let's put those legs low off the ground and ride that bike. Okay, there you go, ride it. Keep that tummy pushed in towards the ground. Keep riding, high. Keep it going. <laughs> You've got this, come on, fight for it. It's worth it. And low. High. And low. High and low and down. Good job. Very, very good job. Grab you a drink of water. We've got about four minutes left, I think. Yep, four, just under four. We don't have very much longer, so we're almost done. All right, so we're going to do one more exercise. And while you're drinking, I'm going to show you what it is, okay? All right, so you're going to lay on the ground. And you're going to bring your knees up to your tummy. Legs up and like that, okay? It's a little harder to do. Okay, now if you can't do that, here's what I want you to do. This. Which is also hard. So you're just bringing your knees up to your chest and back down. Now, are you ready? Okay, if you can do the one I did, I want you to fight for it and I want you to go for it, okay? So your knees will come up to your chest, then feet to the ceiling, then knees back down to your chest and legs out. That's what it looks like, okay? And if you're new to it, it might take you a second to get the coordination, but you will get it, okay? Knees up to the chest, legs in the air, down and out. So see how it looks, let's go. Come on, keep it up, keep it up. Use those abs, feel them. Use those abs. You guys got this, fight for it. Come on, let's do it. One more. Woo, good job. Good job. I'm a sweaty mess already. Fucking sweating. Hair itching because I'm sweaty. <laughs> oh. Take a break for just a second. We don't have much longer. We only have enough for one more set. Look at us go. One more set and we're going to be done. Woohoo! Who's excited about that? I'm excited you hung out with me the whole 30 minutes. I'm so proud of you. You are doing awesome. You really want this, don't you? I want you to tell yourself, I really want this. I want you to fight for you. Make yourself a priority. Fight for yourself. All right, here we go. Same thing. We're doing the same thing. All right, if you can't do what I'm doing, then just bring those knees up to the chest and down. Up to the chest and down. All right, here we go. One. Two. Three. Come on. Four. Five. Six. <laughs> Come on. Seven. Eight, nine, one more, and ten, and we are done with ab day. Oh my gosh, you guys, we are done with ab day. Did you see me try to keep my knee from hitting the ground? Wade's birthday was fun with roller skating, but I'm going to tell you, my knee is still hurting. <laughs> I love you guys. I have just a few seconds, and I want to tell you this. Thank you for joining me, first of all. I'm so proud of you for showing up. It means a lot. Consistency is what is going to get you to your goal. But remember this, your diet is so important. You can work out with a trainer every day and not see hardly any changes in your body because I'm going to tell you what, the gym is meant to help you rebuild some muscle and to strengthen and to tone, but 
if you want your body to really change, change drastically, you have to change your diet. And diet will kick those workouts in overdrive. They'll make those workouts really work for you. But your diet is 85% at least what will get you to your goal, okay? Don't forget it. I love you. Have a wonderful day. And I will talk to you really, really soon, okay? So this weekend, if you don't have anything to do, replay. Get some of them done. All right, take at least one day a week off, though. I love you guys. I will talk to you later. Bye, guys.